Hello Internet, welcome back to our Cataclysm tutorial playthrough. We are going to make a new spear. We're going to head out and we're going to try to get to this arcade because we want to gather electronics materials. We might check out the clothing shop while we're out there. What is this? And I don't know about pushing all the way to the electronics shop, but we could maybe do that uh, during the daylight. It just depends what the monster density looks like. We saw a horde of dogs up there I don't really want to deal with. Although we've killed a few of them. Uh, give me a spear. Fork spear. That's right, we need spikes first. Spikes. Really would love to upgrade and get rid of this dang forked spear. Storing inventory. Actually, can we make the welder yet? No, we need power converters, which is why we're going to the arcade. Yep, okay. Makes sense. Give me... Oh, didn't make the spear, just made the spikes. Uh, fork spear. What are we missing? Long sticks. It's an easy fix. Let's head out here. Give me the bat. Oh, we should drop some of these guns and stuff as well. Uh, looking for a little baby tree. Little baby tree, hello. Sorry, my friend, you have to go. I need your sticks. I need your sticks. Come on back to base. Make ourselves a forked spear. Forked. Because we don't want to go into battle with garbage in our inventory. Okay. Drop all this stuff. Stick, road map. Let's look for the other maps while we're here because we know... Okay, first of all, category drop. It's much faster. Not the hammer and screwdriver, though. We need those for disassembling. Don't need the fork spear. Don't need the bird shot. Bird shot is some of the worst ammunition in the game. I recommend you never, ever use bird shot for anything. Um, I would take a 22 over bird shot. 90% of the time, it's quite bad. I would love to keep a handgun on us. I'm going to keep this Glock... Let me reload. Actually, the PPK has more ammo in it. It's they're comparable. Let's uh let's look at the PPK next to the Glock and see which is a better gun. I suspect the PPK is better. Mm, they're the same ammo, so they both have oh sorry, Glock, you have a negative one to damage. That's not gonna do it for me. You'll see the dispersion is the same, this is the same. Recoil is better on the Glock. Not a super big deal. The aim speed is the same. Yeah, we'll just take the PPK because it has one more damage and because it has a bigger clip or a fuller clip. So we have to do less work. We'll hang on to the PPK. If we had a holster, a holster, we could just throw this on our on our person, but we don't. Fork spear, duffel bag's a little bit damaged. We could repair that, but I don't care. Let's head back up here and let's see about getting to the arcade. Let's get that mouse cursor out of here. I'm really bad at remembering to do the mouse cursor. Uh, no, you don't have... Zombie. Oh no. So over there by the railway railway station. Sorry my throat is really bothering me. This is the eighth or ninth episode I've recorded today. Probably my last for the day. Funny thing, it's only 1 p.m. I got up at like 6 a.m. today because uh, my sleep schedule is way jacked up. I uh, Yesterday was one of the worst days of my life and was just so, so devastating uh, and took up all of my time and attention yesterday and uh, I did not sleep for probably 35 ish hours and then uh, I actually called off work yesterday which is the second time in about five years that I've had a day off so I don't think it's too absurd or anything let's go up here and kill this guy just put him put him out of his misery this poor crawling zombie experiencing a horrible life so you'll see as we're moving through the town we're finding a lot more vehicles Cookies, cigarette, no thank you. Let's take a look at the vehicle. Engine, fuel, battery, no wheels. Bummer. Um, oh, there's a little bit of a horde up here, so we're not going to go up here. I did see, did it say skeleton? Skeletal dog, okay. Um, they're fine as well. They're just a different zombie dog, essentially. I do think the skeletons are a little tougher because they have armor depending on the weapon you're using. Like, I think piercing weapons are weak against skeletons, which makes sense, because they are bony boys. Uh, although, actually, I don't know if that's true. Skeletons in Cataclysm are not actually skeletons. They are zombies with ossified tissue. Ossified tissue is like uh, armor, kind of. You could think of it like armor. We'll grab... We don't want to grab too much. Well, we brought the shopping cart, so we can... We can drop some things. So we're just going to look. If anything's leather, we'll probably grab it. Everything else is going to be trash. Leggings, are you leather? You're lycra. We do need lycra to repair our... Ooh, sorry, bunny. Sorry, bunny. 
I don't want to kill you. You're adorable. Hot pants are probably leather. Oh, they're cotton. I thought they were like leather hot pants, like short shorts. Anything in here? Anybody? Zombies? Hello, Zambi. You can't see me, apparently. Uh, so we've mostly cleared this area. There are some zombie dogs about, so we will just clear out the remnants here. Uh, they're far to our east. I'm seeing more zombies to the northeast, some to the north and west. What are we looking at? Regular zombie, fat zombie, zombie dog, zombie, zombie, zombie. Pretty basic enemies. Looks like a horde of dogs over here. There is a yard that has a mailman in it, and it spawns like 20 dogs, and it's just real dumb. Uh, I get the joke, you know, they killed the mailman or whatever, but like, it's too many zombies for for one location. There's just no reason to have, like, I think the last time we saw it, it was literally like 22 dogs. And I just, I don't understand when people add locations and they just dump monsters into them. It's like, use a little bit of sense. Um, you know, think about what is a balanced number to have. People don't do... So Cataclysm, if you don't know, is an open source game. This means that anybody can contribute to it. I've done it. You can do it. It's not hard. It doesn't take... I mean, it takes some time. Uh, but once you learn how to do things, you can do it very quickly, very easily. And uh, pretty much anyone can contribute. And a lot of times what happens is people contribute things... They don't always get caught. Sometimes they add things that don't make sense. Like at one point I was pointing out to someone that mending... Can we look at this? No, we can't because it's not faulty. Like you can make a belt for a vehicle out of... Was it rags, I think? And it's like obviously you could do that. Man, our spear is half broken already. I'm so sick of the flimsy weapons. They're too flimsy. You made them too flimsy. I'm very complaining today. This might have guns in the back. Yeah, sure does. Uh, because this is a uh, security van. Ooh, tactical helmet. HK-417 and a suppressor. Let's take a look at these guns. Uh, 50 cal BMG. Never, probably not going to use that. 308 is a pretty rare ammunition to find. And then the other one was a shotgun. So not very good as far as things go. 50 cal is incredibly powerful. Of course, you'll see it just... 126 damage, uh, and this is a proper sniper rifle. So, I mean, it's a good find, but the ammunition is sufficiently rare that we're probably not going to take a lot of advantage with it. Of it, uh, let's just see if we can get in this arcade. I don't want to deal with this. Just come get me. Come get me, zombies. I can't believe our spear is half broken already. We only killed like six things. Gets super old. Uh, obviously, we've been dealing with that for several episodes. We've made, what, six... Spears at this point. These dogs are so obnoxious as well. They're really starting to do a number on us. Go ahead and eat some aspirin. There's no reason for you to be in pain. Um, to, to suffer from these stupid zombie dogs. Uh, yeah, so sometimes things get added to Cataclysm. This is another shotgun. I really don't need another shotgun. What we will do is take the shots out of it so we have the extra ammo. People add things to the game sometimes, like a lot of the times, everything is fine, you know? People do look over the PRs and stuff, and obviously the Cataclysm Development team, they, they select what gets added to the game and what doesn't make it. Problem is, sometimes there's just not as much checking as there should be, and stuff gets added to the game, which is ridiculous. See a creepy crawler? This is an evolved form of a zombie child. Um, it jumps around, so it'll jump over to us here in a moment. You're not jumping. You hear a terrible shriek. So there are child zombies in here, so there's likely a big horde inside. What we're hearing shrieking is most likely a shrieker child zombie. So we're just going to back up and try to deal with this in a way that's tolerable. Okay, it's so annoying that they're hard to hit. I maintain that just because they're children doesn't mean they're hard to hit. People hit their children every day. Uh, and if you gave me a spear and asked me to spear a child, I'm pretty sure I could do it. No problem. I have a dog coming up as well, which is going to be annoying. And the this guy, I believe, deals cut damage, so we could end up bleeding or something. So we're just going to be careful here. Don't really get why you're not coming at me. Massive eyes. Are you what's shrieking? 
I don't think you are. But them shrieking is what's drawing the enemies over here. Including more dogs. This is what, like 10 dogs now that we've seen? Going to uh, pull them over here. Maybe get them to come one at a time around the corner. Nope. Just They're just going to charge us. <sighs> like, you know, people add things to the game. And they just dump zombies in locations. Like, we talked about the parks. Uh, we saw those in our previous Let's Play. Where we got to the park and it was like... 40 zombies. Not 40. It was like 25 zombies in there. And it's like, why... Why would you do that? You know, it's a park. Why would you load it up on zombies? Oh, there's a dead mailman. Well, let's freaking throw in 10 zombie dogs, 15, 20 zombie dogs, because why not? It'll be funny. And I just hate stuff like that, because it seems like people think something is cool, and so they add it, but it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't really fit. What killed you? Did I kill you? Uh, you know, it just doesn't make sense... It's just annoying to deal with, and then things like that tend to spawn too often. Like, the park thing wouldn't be a big deal if parks were rare, but, like, the last playthrough, we found two of them within two blocks of each other. They they don't spawn in any reasonable way. The parks, the pavilions, the wooded trails, they spawn a lot in these towns. There's a pavilion. There's actually not very many in this town, but they spawn too much. Let's uh, use this trail guide. It'll give us the same basic area, but it adds trails to our map. So like uh, if there are forested area, that's what these green lines are or trails. So it's revealed that there's probably a big forest over there. Let's uh, deal with the remainder of these zombies. I think that little black monstrosity thing is what's shrieking. So it's making noise and that draws the enemies. Really wish I would hit you. A little frustrated. Um, like I said, I've recorded quite a lot today. I'm going to kill this thing. I don't know what its deal is. I thought the shrieking one was not this, so it might still be inside shrieking. But it sure seemed like that's what was drawing them. Definitely take another baseball bat. Okay. Just wait and see if we hear any... I guess it was that that was shrieking. I'm guessing there's more children in here. It's the same thing. Uh, there actually was not very many in here uh, last time. Oh, it's outside, I guess, making noise. Last time I was in an arcade, it was literally like 30 zombie children. And it was the same thing that we just talked about where somebody was like, Oh, kids like arcades, so let's just dump 30 kids there. Even though it doesn't make sense that why would, you know, zombie apocalypse, 90% of people are going to be at home or in a hospital Maybe they're going to gather at the evac shelter or the police station, that kind of thing. Most people aren't in the arcade when they die. So why would there be zombies in the arcade? Okay, now we see a zombie soldier. He's over there. Zombie soldier is not guaranteed to have an entrenching tool, but very likely has an entrenching tool. So we really want to kill him because if we can get a digging tool, we can make a forge. Uh, however, zombie soldiers are one of the scariest things you're going to encounter on day one. They have a lot of armor. So, hitting him with our spear, probably not going to do much. In fact, our spear is about to fall apart. So what I'm going to do is actually run away from the zombie dog. And swap weapons to the baseball bat. Uh, and we're going to have to engage in melee now, which is not great. On the plus side, the baseball bat has a plus three to hit. So we're pretty likely to hit the things we attack. And if we fight the zombie soldier, I'm just going to use a gun. It'll be a lot faster than trying to beat through his armor. But we would really like to kill him. Problem is, we don't know what else is in the area. And we're seeing a little bit of monster density over there. There is a another godforsaken survivor zombie. Uh... We have killed, hmm, oh, it's not on this list. It's weird that it's not on, oh, there they are. We've killed three? Oh, that's right, we used our NPC to kill most of them, so there were at least six that we saw already and dealt with. Used to be that I never, ever really saw survivor zombies. It, I kind of like that they're added more to the game, but they're definitely dangerous. We really don't want to fight it in melee. Let's shoot it. We haven't shot our gun yet. Let's, um... Obviously, we could use the 50 cal and basically one-shot it, but I don't think that that's in our best interest. I think we'll grab the M1 
1014. No, the Mossberg has more damage. Yeah. Give me the Mossberg. Freaking. How many dogs have there been? Shoot the dog. I don't want to deal with this. Uh, obviously, you should probably conserve your ammunition. Not the smartest thing to use them on a dog. An alarm going off. Most likely... Hmm. Probably the electronic shop. Maybe the sex shop. Didn't know that was there. Um, oh, and the dump can have some monsters we don't want to deal with as well. Oh, also another gun shop. We definitely want to hit those at some point. Anyway, you should really try to conserve your shot, your ammunition in general. Thing is, with shotgun, uh, it generally is one of the more common ammunitions. This double aught shot uh, is stuff you would find... Um, pretty much everywhere every shotgun you find is going to be loaded with zero zero shot basically at all times um, i say double aught i don't know if that's the proper terminology or not but uh basically every shotgun comes loaded with this ammunition it spawns in stacks of 20 and it's pretty common so shotgun ammunition not a super big deal uh i did think there were there were rounds in this so i thought we had more rounds on us it looks like we only have nine rounds so not great uh we want to shoot the survivor zombie looks like it's stuck over there a little oh it broke the vending machine that's why an alarm is going off oh and it's heavily injured oh okay i mean i would still like to kill you before anything else comes over here so why are you, why are you not targeting survivor zombie because it would go through the vending machine how about now there we go so there is a lot of monster density nearby, so in general, not the smartest thing to be doing right now, shooting a bunch of bullets, especially because we don't know all of what is in the surrounding v buildings, but we would really like to deal with that before it gets over and starts causing us problems. So we'll just back up, swap to the baseball bat. Again, no, not the baseball bat. Swap to the nail bat. Again, fighting in melee, not great, uh, because it exposes you to deep bites and whatnot. On the plus side, this is a high damage weapon, and we have um, a plus three to hit, which means we'll probably not be in combat for that long. Soldier Zombie is coming. We're going to go back to our shotgun. Problem is, it only has one round left in it. Store an inventory. Go ahead and reload a shell. Reload a shell. And we're going to try to let him get close so we have a guaranteed critical. Yeah. And then we'll shoot him again. He is dead. Go back to the bat to deal with everything that's coming uh, on top of this. Zombie dog spotted, yes. How many zombie dogs, honestly, at this point? It's just absurd. We did get an entrenching tool. We got an M4. Uh, so basically every zombie is guaranteed to have a few things. Pretty much guaranteed to have a weapon of some sort. It's primarily M4s. You're almost always going to find M4s. They generally have entrenching tools on them. They will have canteens a lot of times, which... I don't know why you would deploy soldiers in America with a canteen. Obviously, we have clean water here. It's not really something you would deploy with. Um, they have these ridiculous ballistic vests, which, again, are overpowered, and I would recommend. I guess as a new player, I would recommend wearing them, but I think that they are absurdly powerful, and they need to be nerfed, and I'm tired of talking about it. I've said it a 100 times. Um, so they generally have the same basic gear. They'll have some kind of storage. They'll have army clothes on. But mostly what you're looking for a lot of the time is the M4 or the ammunition from the M4. In this case, we were looking for an entrenching tool. They also very commonly spawn with one to three MREs. Um, it's a very, I think it's 75% chance of spawning one to three MREs. Um, so yeah, it just depends what you're looking for. And again, they have a lot of armor, so it's generally better to shoot them uh, in the early game if you don't have a great weapon. I guess we'll wait for these dang dogs to come over here. Really getting annoyed by the dogs at this point. Killed quite a lot of dogs. Uh, and again, just no reason for so many of them to spawn in that, that one location. We'll go over there then just to verify that it's what I'm talking about. But I can pretty much guarantee there's a mailman over there. I can't think of any other location that spawns so many dogs. Uh, we're just going to wait and see if anything else heard those shots and is coming to investigate. We are seeing, weirdly, on day six, we're already seeing some zombies that we don't normally see. Like, the grappler zombie is not something I often bump into this early in the game. Um, 
they grab you and immobilize you at a range, which can be a real problem. So looks like nothing really is coming. Yeah, they'll grab you from a few tiles away, and because they grab you, you can't actually move, um, which will cause you to be in a lot of trouble if you encounter them in the midst of a horde. Definitely will take your soldering iron. So, looking for a mailman corpse. Hey, look, a mailman corpse. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Some of these locations people set up, you know, it's not that it's a bad location. You know, putting a mailman corpse and, and dropping a... Uh, <laughs> some zombie dogs is a cl I like that actually like conceptually I like what you were going for it's mildly humorous it's fine the problem is you dropped like 25 zombie spawns on top of it and it's just nonsense fat zombies gonna hit us quite a bit uh, in melee unfortunately okay so we cleared the area more or less it's 8 a.m. Killed the soldier zombie, so now we have a, a proper tool that we can set up our forge in the coming episodes. But for now, we're going to set up, uh, we're going to start disassembling these machines. We do this by going in the construction menu. We talked about this before using the asterisk key. It's the first option, deconstruct furniture. And we're just going to take apart some of these machines. Yeah, if we spot things, we're going to maybe want to clear them out. So I would love, Crawler, if you would come over here. You... Do you not see me? Oh man, their vision is not good. I thought they had better vision. That they were just slow, but apparently... Apparently not. Because he's so slow, he can't make an attack the same turn he moves. So if you just wait for him to move into you, you can safely take the attack without really repercussions immediately after. So let's go back in and we'll try this again. I don't know if it saves. It does save your deconstruction. So we'll just go back to deconstructing. Uh, ignore? Okay. So we just deconstructed an arcade machine. Now some of these are different. No, these are all arcade machines. These are different. Pinball machines will have TVs in them, which also can give certain materials. Oh, so do the arcade machines. Okay, great. I thought they just um, turned into a screen, an LCD screen, but apparently they give TVs as well. Anyway, the main thing we're looking for here is power converters, but all of this stuff has value. Oh, we didn't, we meant to bring our grocery cart with us. That's why we brought our cart, so we could dump a bunch of electronics into it. So we'll drag this over here. Man, we're 22 minutes in. Okay, just uh, keep eyes on things as we do this. I'm going to go ahead and haul this cart over here. Um... So yeah, mostly I'm looking for power converters because we need those for the welder, but we're also looking for copper wire. You would think copper wire is very common. Uh, well, and it is. It's, it is very common. It's just... So it, it spawns in groups of 200. So if you find it out in a location, you'll find 200, which is great. Uh, if you can't find those locations, though, like the electronic shop will probably have some. If you can't find that, though, you have to take it out of other electronics and you usually only get it in quantities of like 2 to 20. So it definitely is something you think like, ah, it's really easy to find copper wire. And it is, but not in the quantities that you will need for crafting. So it's usually very good to grab copper wire anytime that you see it. Um, because it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and go hunting for, you know, six hours trying to find enough things to deconstruct for copper wire. So I usually grab that. Circuit boards and power converters, they're just miscellaneous electronics. RAM is required for certain things. Plastic chunks are not a big deal, but I'll take them anyway. Um, and then we can also take apart the television. Oh, I butchered it by accident. I meant to deconstruct it, but I butchered it, so we just got plastic. Well, that's disappointing. That was a poor decision. Let's drop all this garbage we've picked up that we don't need. No, I keep that. Drop that. Uh, we're going to need, again, the hammer and the screwdriver so that we can deconstruct items. Throw all this in there. Keep the PPK. Drop this. Drop this. No, keep that one. That's the good one. Or is this the good one? I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. It's not so substantial damage-wise that it matters. Ignore. If uh, the grappler comes in here, we'll fight it, but we're not going to go out and fight it. So let's deconstruct another one. Ignore doesn't seem like it can see us in here let's this time take apart the yeah it takes an hour to disassemble the tv but we'll get all this stuff it's good to get power converters amplifier circuits and processor boards those are things you'll use for oops get out of here 
windows. Don't don't turn on. I thought it was sticky keys, but whatever. Um, we'll we'll take those electronics. This is going to take several hours to disassemble a lot of this stuff. Um, but really, this is something you'll do maybe once in the game is go to a location with like major electronics and you'll just deconstruct for a couple hours and then you'll have basically what you need for the remainder of the game. Let's uh, try a pinball machine instead. See what we get out of this. Oh, this is the one that doesn't give a TV. The arcade machines do. The power, the pinball machines don't. Uh, so we'll take all this good stuff. Actually, not as much stuff in these, so I think we want to do the arcade machines instead. But again, just gathering electronics construction items for later. Uh, again, we're going to need power converters and things for crafting the welder at the very least. Attacked by a zombie dog? Yeah. Good thing there's a million effing zombie dogs. Deconstruct. And we're just going to keep doing this. And we'll take care of for a game. I'm going to ignore you. Please don't come in here and eat me. Okay. And we'll haul this all into one pile. We'll grab what we can. Circuit boards, copper wire, plastic, power converters, RAM. And I guess we'll take apart a couple TVs. Yes. Again, takes a long time. What are you going to do? Ignore. Yeah, like there's nothing wrong with making a... Uh... Oh, you can take apart the LCD screen. I don't know what that would give. What does that give? LCD screen. Solder, electronic scrap. Yeah, it's not. No, no thank you. Television, yes. Uh, ignore. Like the zombie dog, it's fine. It's just too many zombie dogs. Just like the park. It's fine to put some people out there. You want to put people and their dogs and make a joke like, oh, it was at the apocalypse and they were still out walking fluffy. You know, it's like, that's fine. It's just when you over, you go overboard with the spawns and it kind of detracts from my game experience personally. And I got to imagine if I feel that way, other people feel that way. Because like I really love this game and I really like respect and, you know, like I, I the dev team, they're good people. You know, I interact with them occasionally, you know, some of them more than others. But I've interacted with a lot of the dev team at this point. Some of them watch my videos. Oh, we ran out of space. In the shopping cart. Shopping cart is full with items. Great. That's good. We could prioritize by taking some of this out of here. Like uh, we don't really need the trail guide anymore. We really don't need all the plastic chunks. We could take like a, I don't know, 50 of those out of there. That'll save some spot, uh, some space. We can just drop that crap over here. So we don't really need that. So we just freed up, I don't know, 20 liters, 15 liters of space. We'll do one more machine and then we'll call it. Uh, there I do think we'll try to see if we can get to the electronic shop, but we don't uh, Necessarily need to do that. We have enough stuff here to do a lot of crafting and we know that there's dozens more machines here So even if we don't have enough Okay, definitely wield the nail bat. Don't know why I keep picking up the baseball bat by accident um, So where's the electronics to over that's a little bit of an ask, because uh, we don't really know what's out there and our spear is broken. So at this point, we're fighting like in melee, which is obviously we're taking a lot of damage. So the grappler grabbed us from two tiles away and pulled us close. And you'll see we have the grab indicator. If any zombie is grabbing you, any other zombie can bite you. So even if it's just you're grabbed by this one, all five enemies around you could be biting you and giving you deep bite wounds. So it's very careful, be very careful when you're grabbed. And in general, I just shoot these guys, but since we're here and we're using melee and he's by himself, we'll just bludgeon him. I think also your to hit is penalized when you're grabbed uh, as and so is your dodge, I believe. So that's why it was hard to hit him. You'll see our clothing is taking a real beating as well because we're now in melee. Duffel bag is on the brink of being destroyed, even though right here, Oh, it was previously at that health and then was ripped. We should really go back and uh, deal with our clothes and make a new spear. God, I'm so sick of making spears. It's driving me insane. We'll go back. We'll see if we can build the welder and then we could build a better weapon that's not flimsy. Um, we have all these electronic components now for the future. And, um, yeah... Electronic shop is not super important at the moment since we found a place to harvest electronics, but the electronic shop will likely have a lot of electronics books, 
which will let us raise our skills even further. It'll have a lot of big stacks of um, the copper wire and other components in large quantities. So we, you know, it would be a one-stop shop for that kind of stuff. Literally all you picked up was that freaking plastic chunks. Okay. Drop all this. The tactical helmet is probably better than the hard hat that we have. I mean, you're just not picking up nearly as much stuff as I want you to pick up. Please pick up. Thank you. Um, and we'll drop this stuff. And again, we don't really need any of it. We can just... Um, Drop it all in this pile. We don't need any of it at the moment. Don't need the baseball bat either. Don't really need all these guns. We'll start carrying this one with us. Actually, I'd prefer to carry the M4, but we don't have ammo for it. So we're just going to roll with a shotgun. How much double off shot do we have? We have none. Search for shot. We have none? Oh, that surprises me. Uh, that's very common ammunition. Oh, that's not great. Um, that's not great. I thought we had some. We're definitely not going to use birdshot. You'll see birdshot deals 15 damage, whereas the actual, you know, actual bullets, you do 50 damage. So, yeah, considerable reduction. Birdshot is pretty garbage, especially when you're trying to beat the armor of an enemy. Oh, God. Okay, so in the next episode, we will... Can we make the welder? We can totally make the welder. The welder will let us make the next tier of spear, which will be less flimsy, so we don't have to keep doing this over and over and over. So we'll see about making the welder, then making the spear, then we will look at repairing our clothing. But honestly, I, I don't know if I'll even remember, because I think that's it for me today. Getting a little hoarse, and honestly was a little frustrated by how much monster density we had to deal with. So I'm a little annoyed at the moment with Cataclysm. So for now, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I will be back with more Cataclysm in the near future. Uh, but for now, that's it. So I will see you next time.